Come out looking. And the bell for down one. And Bertie Pacheco, we're on the way. Ran is impressive, and so is the Steven, because the seven shows that he... Oh, a great left uh, hook to the chin of Durant. Oh, it's the other one around. But Durant doesn't appear affected. He's right back in business. Now it's up to Steven to take advantage of this. They went down solid, but got up very fast. And they're really mixing it here. Crowd, where the Jesus had put the road Durant on the canvas. Pushes him literally, and uh, Durant kicks something out of the ring. So, and Freddie Brown can't speak Spanish, and Durant can't speak English, and yet they understand each other. And he's got sort of a scowl and a smirk. Oh, oh, oh he got hit again! Against this game challenger. Oh, almost down the Hazel from this one. He's been able to get him in, but he's like a man trying to fight off an avalanche. I tell you what, they're lightweights, but there's less than a minute to go now in round two, and they are still not letting up, both fighters. The challenger, any more punches thrown, I think, in these two rounds, and we see sometimes in ten rounds with other fighters. The ring, and out they come for round three. Up, uh, two to Hazels by Duran. He had won 30 straight, 25 of those 30 by knockout. And that's what he... It'd be difficult to predict that. It's so difficult to fight so hard with this kind of heat. What's going to help... Steven De Jesus, I really don't know. Well, oh. both the youngsters, that was a oh. great match to be able to stand up because of the youthfulness of both of these. And great punches, both by a remarkable performance for you. Oh, oh what a tremendous. He just wants to stay right there and have more of the same. Oh, look at that action! Look at that action! How can they... Another exciting round in Panama City. Carol Sounds for round four. Keep up this pace. No one can keep up this pace in 100 degree heat for 15 rounds. Either man could be a champion in his division without any trouble. They're clearly head and shoulders above anybody. Still trying to fight an intelligent fight, whereas Duran is ready to fight a strip. Very little thought of defense on Duran's part. Duran just wants to punch. They just flare away, and where they land, they land. If they're low, oh, a good loud five. Heard of Duran's fight to take. It is a street fight. Good left hook. I well, the action slowing down just a bit from what it had been, and just as I say that, it less than a minute now in round five. Oh, a little bit, getting on top of him, or maybe to work inside like he's doing there. When well, you got two fighters like this, on one. Okay, so that's about it, Ferdy, for round five. In the green trunks, Roberto Duran, and the blue and white striped trunks on the fight inside. He's tried to take it right inside to Roberto. Oh, the action. Trying to box one another because, oh, the good right uh, by the Hazels, uh, bipartisan fans in Panama City. Although perhaps with the heat, they're getting a little worn out. That's where he likes to fight. He's a barroom brawl. He's an alley brawl. I haven't seen anything that evilly smirmy since uh, the movies. Oh, what a... Uh, wiping some of that grin off the champion's face. Yeah, I was thinking of Richard Woodmark. Number seven. I agree with you, Bobby. Showed great signs of wear nails to go through in boxing. There's no way that you can keep that up. Well, De Jesus, he's waiting for that one opening, which will spell the end of Duran. Oh, good right there. Good right by Duran. He's wary, but he just missed a couple of haymakers. But Roberto didn't. Every time he missed, oh, Roberto just dropped him. He can because he's relentless. He does not let up on you. Now let's see if the champion goes in for the kill. He's trying, but here's seconds. Ten seconds now. And counting down in round seven. De Jesus now for round eight. And off we go here for the lightweight championship of the world. Cut. And uh, these little nicks don't develop anything with Roberto. But what he does... Roberto, look at his stance. Look how wide his arms are, his legs are. Being on and taking control of this fight over a king, but apparently right now, outclass challenger... Getting weaker and weaker, and Duran getting stronger and stronger. As Duran senses a kill, his putting time in the corner, if you look at the right-hand corner of your screen, you can see all of that. The bell for round nine, and here we go. Steven slow in getting up. I don't know why they bothered to sell seats to this fight. Everybody's been standing up for the last four or five rounds. He is right here, forcing the fight. Oh, and he takes a great shot by De, he De Jesus as he was only 20 years old. And you're, and you're comparing him with some of the greats of all time. The Robinsons, as you said, the look stop the punching power of the lightweight champion of the world, Roberto Duran. Spins De Jesus around and catches the seconds. And then... Counting 900 of them, and they are selling. Literally pushes once again. Seems to light Lando's left hands. Oh, good, good. Up.
He's still in there fighting. He's weary. He's tired, but he's in there fighting and trying for the rounds to go under Duran's left eye. Oh, and he took a great right from Mr. Bob. Hey, the bell is sounded for round 11. And as we said, all through this fight, home by Roberto Duran, the champion, too. And come, coming at him, and he knocks him down to the capital. He's not getting up. He cannot. It's all over. It's over. They have awarded it to Roberto Duran. He keeps his...